Hey, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda, and today we're going to talk about red hot pickles. That's right, red hot. Red hot pickles are also known as cinnamon pickles or Christmas pickles. They're red, candied-like cucumbers. And I'm going to give you the recipe. I'm going to show you how I made my red hot candy pickles. When my kids were little, I used to make these all the time. In the summer, we had so many cucumbers that just making pickles or relish was easy because we had so many and I had a lot left over. And I would can these and they would have them throughout the winter and until the next season. So this is a great way to have something that the kids would like as a snack and use up all those cucumbers. So for the recipe, you need six to eight pounds of cucumbers, one cup of pickling lime, four cups of white vinegar, one tablespoon of alum, one teaspoon of salt, 12 ounces of red hot candy, and 10 cups of sugar. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But this recipe takes like five days and it's not that you're doing something really massive to it every day. It just takes a while to candy the cucumbers. On day one, you take your cucumbers and you wash them real good. You take and um, slice them. If they have those big seeds in them, go ahead and take the seeds out because you do not want that. And you can slice them lengthwise and make sticks. I prefer them round like normal pickles. So I slice mine round and I get my cucumbers are usually small. I don't usually use the big old cucumbers. We have the pickling cucumbers and, but any cucumber will work. It doesn't matter which size it is. The large ones that are starting to turn yellow will work just fine. You just scoop all the seeds out and cut them into either sticks or round slices or whatever you want. Some people like to get fancy and they slice the big cucumbers and they hollow out the middles and you have a round ring, what they would call a red hot candy ring of pickles. So any way you slice them, the cucumbers are fine. Little ones, big ones, it doesn't matter. Yellow ones, as long as they're not just solid yellow, turning yellow works just fine with your cucumbers. You put eight cups of cold water in something that is enamel ceramic or stainless steel. You do not want to use aluminum. You add one cup of lime, you stir that up really, really well, and then you add your cucumber slices to it. Once you have the lime and water mixed and the cucumbers added, flip a plate upside down, a, a dinner plate, and put it on top. That will weigh your cucumbers down in your container. And from there, I take and cover that whole container with a towel and leave it overnight. Day two, you take and drain your cucumbers. And you rinse them really well in cold water, get all the lime out, clean the container and everything, get it all cleaned and drained. Once the cucumbers are back in the, th in the pot or container, cover them with cold water, then cover that with ice, a whole layer of ice over it. I cover it back with a towel and leave it for four hours. After four hours, you come back, you drain the cucumbers and take the ice out and let them sit in a colander and drain for a few minutes while you're mixing up the vinegar and the alum. While doing my pickles, I did add some red food coloring to the um, I think it was the alum mix. You can leave that stage out if you don't want the red food coloring in it, but it just makes them a lot prettier. You are gonna let these cucumbers simmer for two hours. You do not want them to boil, you just want it to sit and simmer. And just stir it once every 10 minutes or so. And you're not wanting to break your cucumbers up, so just be real gentle and do not let it boil. So once it's sat and simmered for two hours, you're gonna put it, the cucumbers back in your colander. You're gonna let them sit there and drain while you mix up the next step. When I started the simmering of the cucumbers on the stove in the alum water, 
On the side, I took half a cup of vinegar and the red hot candy and put it in a bowl, stirred it in on occasion, and that started the red hots to break down so that they would go ahead and melt, so that they would be ready for the next process. That was half a cup of vinegar and 12 ounces of red hot candy. At the end of two hours of the simmering of the cucumbers and alum, I started with a clean stock pot, I added three cups of vinegar, three, well, I added two and a half cups of vinegar because I used half a cup of the vinegar in the Red Hots to start it to melt down. I added two and a half cups of vinegar, three cups of water, and the Red Hots that were in the half cup of vinegar. So that would make three cups of vinegar, three cups of water, and the Red Hots. Then I added a teaspoon of salt and 10 cups of sugar. Okay, that's what the recipe calls for. In mine, I cut everything in half because I was only making a half a recipe. But I'm telling you what it calls for in the full recipe. With this mixture, you're gonna stir because you don't want your candies to stick to the bottom and things like that, and you don't want it boiling. You want it just a good simmering. Let it sit there and you keep stirring until the candy melts and it's really hot. In the meantime, you're going to put your uh, cucumbers in a container that you want to put them in for the night, and you're going to pour the red hot sauce over your cucumbers and leave it overnight. Okay, on day three, you're going to drain the sauce out of your, the candy sauce out of your cucumbers, and you're going to set the cucumbers back in the bowl that they were in, and you're going to heat that sauce for one, you're gonna bring it up to a low boil, not a heavy boil, a low boil, and you're gonna heat it for one minute, and then you're gonna pour it back onto your cucumbers and leave it till day four. On day four, you're gonna take your cucumbers out and drain your um, sauce back into a saucepan. You're gonna put your cucumbers back into your bowl. You're gonna heat the sauce up again to a low boil for one minute, then you're gonna put them back on the, pour them back over your cucumbers and wait another day. I tested them at day four. They were awesome. Okay, so on day five, these things are ready to eat. They were ready on day four, to be honest with you. They were really good. But on day five, you're gonna take and drain your sauce back into your pot to heat. You're gonna put your cucumbers to the side then you're going to get your jars ready. You want hot jars. You're gonna pack all the jars with your um, cucumbers. You're gonna get your sauce hot. You're gonna pour the hot sauce over your cucumbers. You're gonna clean the rims. You're going to add your flat and your uh, screw on cap. And you're gonna put them in a water bath canner for 10 minutes. Once you take them out of the canner, you're gonna do like any other thing. You're gonna let it sit, see that it seals and pops, and you're done. They will store in a dark place for at least a year. If you can leave them that long, when I was making mine up, I had four half pints and two pints, I believe. And I had a handful left over. I probably could have done another half pint but y'all, I sat and ate every one of them right then. They were delicious. So I hope you enjoyed the video on how to make red hot pickles. Some people call them Christmas pickles. Some people call them cinnamon pickles. I just call them delicious. These things are awesome, awesome, awesome. And it's especially great to have them around holidays and, and things like that for a little bit of a pretty red color, I guess you would say to add to it. So I hope you enjoyed my red hot pickle recipe. These things are delicious and stay tuned at some point on Deep South. We just might give a jar away. Thank you from Crazy Days.